Here we see the rear of the device. Of course, now we're looking at it right side up. On the left, you see that nine pin connector. On the right hand side, you see the 50 pin connector. And in the middle, you see those dip switches I was telling you about. You also have these square ports that are not knocked out. They're labeled J5 and J6, and they appear to be RJ45 ports. What's interesting is that the hardware exists on the inside on the PCB, but it's not accessible because these ports are not knocked out. I assembled a high resolution photograph of the main logic board by assembling multiple cell phone photos. This way I can Google them and identify what they are. It was really easy to do. Most of these are pretty standard components. What's the most surprising about this to me is how comprehensible it is. We have some demultiplexers, decoders that take the signal in from the 50 pin connector from the key button PCB. Those consolidate that signal into fewer signals here. We have the same thing going on over here. We have some standard logic ICs. This over here, if this is all we had, then I would know what to do. This is an RS-232 uh, receiver, and there's on the other side of the PCB, there's a RS-32 driver that corresponds to this receiver. It's typical to have a D9 connector, a 9-pin connector like this, for serial ports that run on the RS-232 protocol. This is your standard serial port peripheral kind of setup. So this is actually quite expected to see, but if you notice, there's some wires coming out here going to the other side of the PCB. Some of these pins are connected to the other side of this PCB where we have the 50 pin connector. And over on this side, we have not just the RS-232, the receiver, we also have the RS-422, 423 line receiver and line driver. So what protocol call is this thing expecting? Is it the case that when you plug in to the D50 connector, it uses the RS-422-423 uh, protocol, which one? And when you plug into the D9 connector, it uses RS-232. How does that work exactly? Another question is, this is a lot of electronics on this PCB. What's powering this? Where does it get its power from? I don't see any obvious place where it has a power in. There's no VCC labeled anywhere. There's a ground and that's gonna be part of the protocol as well, but there's no power in to power any of this. So how is that happening? Another potential problem here is this. This is the UV erasable read-only memory device. So you write it by giving it a certain kind of charge and that charge can last, oh, decades. But this thing is 30 years old. That's really pushing it. This thing might not have any charge left. This might be toast. So I have three challenges here. I need to figure out what the deal is with these connectors. Can I only use this one? If I only use this one, do I get the use of all of the features of the board? Do I have to use this one? That's thing number one. Thing number two is how is it being powered? I need to figure that out. Thing number three, hopefully this component and maybe some of these others, hopefully these components are still functional after 30 years. There's a fourth problem here that is even if I know what what serial port protocol it's using, that doesn't tell me how it communicates. Now, I could just push all the buttons on the keyboard and see what uh, what the device sends to the computer, what information it sends to the computer, but that tells me nothing about what commands this device can accept. For example, what commands cause the speaker to make a sound? That's not clear at all and maybe impossible to figure out.